jackpot. So you want to set some goals. You've heard that's what all the cool kids are doing. 2021 just rolled by. It's a nice date. I don't know, 2020 was pretty rough. Maybe 2021's goal should just be to survive, you know, just get through the year. <laughs> but if you're adamant, I will share a couple things that I've learned about goals in the last couple years of setting and failing at getting at them. All right, so to set a good goal, I think it's easiest when you have a number that you're going after. So if it's, for example, exercise related, maybe you want to do, I don't know, 10 minutes of cardio every day. So then you have something to work towards and then you know when you've got there and that's really important. That's a much more powerful goal than say, I want to get fitter because what does that really mean? Like if you walk tomorrow, are you fitter? In my experience, it's a lot easier to attain a goal when you have a set number with it. Try it out. Let me know how it works out for you. The other tip I can give for you is have a healthy mixer of push and pull goals. Push goals are goals that say maybe put you out of your comfort zone, like that goal I mentioned earlier about, you know, doing a little bit more exercise every day. And a pull goal is a goal that kind of feels effortless. It's something that you're driven to do anyway. Say you're a passionate clay modeler. Um, a goal could be, you know, to model one thing every single day out of clay. That's an example of a pull goal because you want to be modeling clay anyway. So. It's not something that you necessarily have to go out of your way in order to, to achieve it. It's not, it's not going to require a complete change of your identity, so to speak. But it is still important to you to achieve. Push goals are usually more difficult to achieve because they are something that we know we should have, but we may not be intrinsically motivated to go after it. A pull goal, however, is usually easier to attain because of that passion factor. Having a mixture of these two will make achieving each one easier because you will feed off the energy of achieving one particular goal and feeding into achieving the next. Last but not least is hit the reset button. However often you need to, it doesn't have to happen at the end of a year. I know we like to use the calendar end as a nice starting point for the next set of goals or whatever, but really every time that you wake up, you get a chance to do your goals again. So if I was to fail at a particular goal that I'm doing today, for example, tomorrow I'll wake up and try and crush it again. Pretend that it's 2022 starting the next day uh, and take advantage, you know, go after your goals regardless. That's kind of why I've always had a problem with the idea of New Year's resolutions. These should just be resolutions, you know. Um, it's easier to think of them like that. Think of them as new habits that you're trying to build constantly, not just because they, uh, you know, a date changed. The last point I want to make is um, what nature should your goals be? Like, do you want to shoot for the moon, for example? Professionally, I've always thought that it's a good idea to shoot far because if you fall short, then you still kind of have had some success in that area or for that goal. But I also think there is a lot of motivation in accomplishing goals and crossing things out. So there should be a healthy mixture, just like in your push and pull goals, there should be a healthy mixture of achievable goals and goals that would really take you to that next level. If you set goals with these things in mind, I guarantee that this year is going to go well for you. The only issue I'm foreseeing is all of the bullshit that has already come into 2021. But don't let that stuff distract you, you know? It's all out there. <laughs> it's not really in your life. So try and focus on the things that you can actually control. I don't know if I'm trying to convince you or convince myself with that last point, but hopefully it's useful. Have fun. I mean, accomplishing goals is nice and all, but if you're miserable the whole time that you're doing this whole improvement thing, then what's what's the point, you know? It, it should be a, a nice journey of uncovering a new identity for yourself. Oh, that actually reminds me of a point that I, I meant to make earlier, which is to do with identity and goals. In recent times, I've actually found it quite motivating for me to think of myself in that next stage. So changing my identity to match the goal. So for example, if my goal was to be able to eat 20 pizzas in a day, instead of saying, oh, like, I, I can only eat one pizza in a day right now, I'm never gonna get to 20. I wake up and I think of myself as the person who eats 20 pizzas a day, every single day. And before long, that becomes your reality because again, everything starts with a thought. Keep that in mind. 
With all that being said, let's make 2021 the best year ever. 2020 was a shit show, and I'd really not rather have a repeat. Hopefully, these tips will help you with your own individual goals. I'm not saying you should even have any goals. Like I said, I think you should just try and survive. But if you are going to try and have some goals, hopefully these tips will help you achieve and smash those goals. And if you like the video, of course, please hit the subscribe button and smash that like button for me. <laughs> My goal is to be a YouTuber. Um, anyways, <laughs> take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one.